Kia ora, good evening. Luna Rossa will challenge Team New Zealand for the America's Cup. They've just beaten Ineos Team UK in two races today to seal their spot as challengers. Madison Reedy is on Auckland's North Shore where punters can get the best view. Madison, what's the latest? Well, the Brits and EOS Team UK male are officially dead in the water, having just lost out to the Italian syndicate Luna Rossa in today's Prada Cup final. This does mean, though, that the Italian's Luna Rossa will now be the challenger to go up against Emirates Team New Zealand in this year's America's Cup. Here's how that last race played out just moments ago. 21 years since they last challenged for the America's Cup. The Italians are back at the big dance and it's on the same stretch of water. Luna Rossa are going to the America's Cup match. This this does mean that our captain of, of Emirates Team New Zealand, Pete Burling, will be going up against New Zealand's arch enemy, Jimmy Spittle, the captain of Luna Rossa, who caused us so much pain in, in Bermuda just a few years ago. And it does mean that we will see a bit of a repeat of the America's Cup in the year 2000 in Auckland, which is when America's, uh, we were up against uh, Luna Rossa back then, and that year we thrashed them. Let's hope we can repeat history on Auckland's harbour. Yeah, makes for an interesting battle. Thanks, Madison. At the Cup. That's right. Team New Zealand will defend the old mug against Luna Rossa after another dominant day on the water saw them sweep to a resounding victory over Ineos Team UK in the Prada Cup final series. Leading 5-1 at the start of the day, the Italians quickly advanced to match point in the best of 13 race series, powering away to win the first race by nearly two minutes. Well, that meant it was do or die for Team UK in the second, and despite Luna Rossa copping a penalty on the start line, it just made no difference. The Italians simply had far too much boat speed, seeing them advance to the America's Cup finals. All right, let's head away now to Ollie Ritchie, who joins us live from Auckland's Viaduct. Auckland, uh, Ollie, how is the atmosphere down there? Oh, they're going absolutely bonkers down here, Andrew. The Luna Rossa team have just arrived uh, back at their base. They will soon celebrate with the Prada Cup, and they have got no shortage of fans at their base ready to welcome them home. They've been waiting here for a while, just after racing concluded. Those Luna Rossa fans have been here waiting to see their heroes come back, and boy, did they get a hero's welcome. There were air horns, there was cheering, there was clapping. They'll celebrate with the Prada Cup uh, very soon, but I don't think the Italian party uh, will be slowing down any time soon. Certainly not. Oli, Luna Rossa obviously so impressive again today. How concerned will Team New Zealand be with what they've seen from the Italians in this Prada Cup final series? Well, the Team New Zealand boat has actually just come past us and are just arriving back uh, at their base. Andrew, they would have been keeping a very close eye on proceedings down there and they will have been very impressed and maybe a little bit concerned about the Italian boat speed. We saw it right throughout that Prada Cup final series. The Ineos Team UK boat really didn't fire a shot in comparison to Luna Rossa. Their boat speed upwind was far superior. Their boat speed downwind was far superior. Really, Sir Ben Ainsley uh, and Ineos Team UK were never in this and Team New Zealand will be probably quietly concerned about that. They will have done a lot of study on them out there. They will have looked over those races. They'll be looking over uh, those races again before the America's Cup starts, Andrew. But we got Jimmy Spittle versus Team New Zealand. Redemption for Team Spittle after Bermuda four years ago. He'll see if he can do it. We can't wait. Ollie, thanks very much. Welcome to One Sport. It's all set. Luna Rossa will contest the 36th America's Cup after overwhelming Team Ineos UK in the Prada Cup. The Italian syndicate too fast, too strong for the Brits, comfortably winning both races today and ultimately the series to advance to a showdown with Team New Zealand for sailing's ultimate prize. Abby Wilson's been across the day's racing and joins us live from Auckland's Viaduct Harbour. Abby. You can probably hear a little bit of noise coming from behind me and the Italian base. They are understandably very, very excited. In the past 15 minutes or so, the boat actually docked back in with the winning sailors on board, and it was pandemonium. There were horns, there was yelling, there was shouting and cheering, and a crowd actually gathered on the dock beside me, despite the level two restrictions, just to have a look. The Italians, of course, though, are very, very excited because this means their team is one step closer to claiming sport's oldest trophy. Luna Rossa flying away with the Prada Cup. 
but more importantly, the right to race for the America's Cup. Luna Rossa Whoa. are going to the America's Cup match. The typically emotional Italians have shown real restraint during this series, careful to not get ahead of themselves. But today, after two more wins, they finally let themselves celebrate. Fantastico! Fantastico! It was a series that many thought would be much closer than the final 7-1 scoreline. Team UK were impressive during the round robin, winning all four of their races, including three against the Italians. But the Brits just couldn't find the speed they needed in the finals, even with a four-time Olympic gold medalist at the helm. Slipping away here, Pete. Slipping away. This is a pasting. The spoke's just not quick enough. We're obviously, you know, disappointed. Uh, we can get through, but uh, you know, we'll have to go away, go back to the drawing board and uh, see what we can do. Luna Ross's setup was much better in the light conditions. Their pre-starts were slick and their manoeuvres effortless. In the end, they were just too good, dominating both of today's races. Yeah, they make it look easy. While winning the Prada Cup is a major achievement, Luna Rossa have a bigger prize in mind. Their challenge for the America's Cup now starts in two weeks' time. It's a great day for us. It's a great day for Luna Rossa. It's a great day for Italy. While the celebrations won't be quite what they'd hoped for under Level 2 restrictions, you can bet they'll find some way to mark a job well done. Yes, of course, the Level 2 restrictions do put a slight dampener on things. But at the Luna Rossa base, they're actually operating in a bubble, so they have been able to have a trophy presentation. In fact, there's some cheering going on, so who knows what's happening over there at the moment. But they have been able to have the trophy presented to them. They have been able to celebrate with their family and close friends, those ones who are in the bubble. But as far as the rest of the public here in the viaduct, we'll just have to wait a little bit. They are hoping to have a trophy presentation on the main stage here in the America's Cup Village, but we'll have to wait till Auckland moves into level one for us all to take part in that. Thanks, Abby. I hope you get to uh, celebrate yourself as well. Abby Wilson, live from Auckland's Viaduct Harbour.